Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. I got my computer problems fixed, at least for now. Uh, I wanted to talk about sanctuary movement and why uh, Donald Trump is absolutely correct that we need a border wall. The sanctuary movement was a religious and political campaign in the United States that began in the 1980s to provide safe haven for Central American refugees fleeing civil conflict. It responded to federal immigration policies that made obtaining asylum difficult for Central Americans. At its peak, sanctuary involved over 500, read it, 500 congregations in the United States that, by declaring themselves official sanctuaries, committed to providing shelter, material goods, and other legal advice to Central American refugees. Also, won't uh, give some poor white guy out on the street time of day. Some of them do. Various denominations were involved, including Lutherans, United Church of Christ, Roman Catholic, Presbyterians, Methodists, Baptists, Jews, Unitarian Universalists, Quakers, and Mennonites. Okay, so why am I bringing this up? Well. Trump's trying to crack, crack down on these law-breaking sanctuary cities. And he's absolutely right. Now, I'm going to relate a story to you that should put everybody who listens to me on notice. we got a serious, serious problem. I used to do Western Union wire transfers. I'm experienced at it. And the, the wrong age store that I did it from, uh, I was doing these transfers sometimes several times a week. The illegal aliens, I said illegal aliens, used to come into the store with rolls of 50s, 100s, and 20s. Mostly 50s and 100s. And they would send the money down across south of the border. Now, what does this mean? Most of them were from Mexico, by the way. Not all of them. So, what does this mean in terms of churches? Well, these are some of the same people that the churches are giving sanctuary to. You making the connection yet? And many of these uh, same churches are the... Some of the ones are saying in white males are scum, by the way. So, I, they're, the illegal aliens, one group in particular was run, the illegals would come in, and there was a white punk, some kind of a drug runner. These are middle level drug runners, I believe. They would come in with rolls of 50s and 100s, and sometimes 20s, mostly 50s and 100s. It might be a quarter inch, a stack, have a stack of them, quarter inch, half inch thick. I saw that every week, sometimes several times a week. And I couldn't refuse their, I had to play by the rules, and I couldn't refuse to do the transactions for them. So they are sending, they're, they are sending just unbelievable amounts of money down south. And these churches are giving sanctuary to some, not all of them are cartel members. But don't think for a minute these churches don't know they're doing this. They're giving sanctuary to cartel members. It's probably just a small fraction, but that's what they're doing. A small, you know, fraction of the people that are there are cartel members. These were cartel members. There's no question about it. You're going to sit there and tell me they made that money dishwashing? Where's that restaurant that pays for $500,000 a year? I want to go work there. My God. No. So, uh, let's make a connection here. Churches started this, and... 
about the same time uh, computers start getting they had this stuff before the computers, but churches start this stuff and start harboring these people, and then we have all across the country these stores that are sending this money down south. Like I said, rolls of 50s and 100s. I saw it all the time. This is a Wikipedia thing that uh, we have here. And of course, they uh, say uh, this is all about refuge. Well, not, not exactly. So what does this mean? Let's put this together. The churches give sanctuary to cartel members. If you think there aren't uh, drug cartel members in every major city in this country being sheltered, in every major sanctuary city at least, being sheltered by the churches, you're out of your fucking wagnalls. Of course they are. And these churches know it, too. You wonder why I'm an agnostic? While they're busy, busy preaching to me about my soul, they're harboring illegal aliens. They're basically har harboring not just the illegal aliens, but they're harboring criminals. This is organized crime, folks. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is organized crime. <laughs> Makes what, Cal, what uh, Al Capone did like look like... Uh, no, I'm not going to go there. So, let's take a look at what their God is. What is the God of many of these churches? Now, you're about to see their God for the first time on the internet. Drum roll, please. That's their God. I am sorry if the truth hurts. Many of these churches are supporting the cartels. It's true. In the cities, the city of Rochester supports the cartels. I'm sorry if the truth hurts. There's a dirtbag up in... Rochester, New York, it's a sanctuary city. They support the drug cartels. I'm sorry if the truth hurts, folks. But I can't stay silent. I did the transactions. I saw the illegals come in with huge stacks of cash. More money than I made in a year. And they were not making it doing dishes. This is what you have going on. So I gotta get, I gotta get moving. I can't spend all day on videos. I wish I could. I have enough, enough source material to run for three days. The churches are supporting cartels to an extent. Not everybody they're giving shelter to uh, in these sanctuary cities is a cartel member. It's only a small fraction, I'm sure. But they are doing it, and they're doing it intentionally. This is organized crime, folks. Mr. President, please build that wall. And I got an issue... Uh, I gotta say something, to President Trump. You're going up, going up against very heavy amounts of organized crime. Watch your back, please, sir. These are organized criminals. 
these churches, this is their, uh, this, for many of these churches, this, this is their God right here. You see these hundreds? I saw stacks of them more than this. You think this is a lot? No, it's not. I saw stacks of these. This is a tiny fraction of what I saw coming into the store every day. Or every week, at least. Sometimes it was every day. I did the transactions. I am an eyewitness. Not just an eyewitness, but I saw the stacks of money. The same. These churches that are giving sanctuary to the illegals are also giving sanctuary to the cartel members. Mr. Trump, Mr. President, sir, build that wall. You're absolutely right. I don't care who knows that I said this. They are giving sanctuary to the cartels. Many of them are so crooked they make Al, Al Capone proud. proud. It's the same old game. It's organized crime. M the name may, the uh, methods may change, but it's the same old game. You're being duped, folks. I am an art eyewitness. I did the transactions. They are sending millions and millions down to Mexico and Central America. Much of it going to the cartels. And your churches, in many cases, are aiding and abetting this, as are your public officials. And even an entire state of California. This is massive organized crime. It is big time illegal. This is what your country has devolved to, especially under Barack Obama. I'm artifacts of Mars. Mr. President, sir, build that wall tall and proud. Thanks for watching.